I'm scared. What is that? If it's suspicious, do not come close to it. It is chasing me. I'm just imagining the daughter running and typing at the same time, like looking back. Ah! I was just a girl in the village doing all right. And then I lost my teeth overnight. Wait, what? My teeth? Hmm. Is that real? According to these weird, creepy text messages, this has happened before. And we're gonna read them through the messages that uh -huh. have been recreated. And no matter what you do, do not watch this at midnight or past 3 a.m. Because these are way too scary, even for me. But I'm doing uh -huh. it anyway, for our sake. So let's begin. Okay, first message is by Mom and Hope. All right, let's see what's going on. Mom! What, uh -huh. What's wrong, honey? All my teeth are falling out. Wait, what? They are loose. Honey, do not play on them. I have to. What do you what do you what do you mean you have to? No. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is serious. Do not pull on them. But I have to. No. Yeah, don't. It could be dangerous. If your tooth is like stuck on your gum and if they're not ready to drop, you shouldn't tug on them because you might pull a blood vessel and you won't stop bleeding. And that could be dangerous. You don't want to like you know another one just fell out honey listen to me do not pull on them until i come back okay i will try be quick okay mom another four came out wait what how many is that already one and then she dropped the second one and then she dropped four more is that six wait no that's seven right that's seven right six plus two is seven anyways i told you not to pull on them i didn't they fell by themselves anyways i'm 20 minutes away mom do you know something about this yes then tell me what's going on i can't well okay the mom's sus what does she know about teeth falling like seven teeth falling at once two and then six i'm scared mom please tell me i can't and what type of text message is this i've never seen it before why maybe this girl has a disease like how do you drop so many at once do you eat candy at night guys always brush your teeth no matter what this is why dental hygiene is so important i didn't think it would happen so early what happened we need to talk about this in person but another two fell out wait seven and then plus two is ten right or is it nine i am 50 minutes away what will happen if all of them fell out it will come wait what <laughs> what will come what the tooth fairy <laughs> another tooth fell out okay that's like 12 already now when your teeth all fall out then the suspense hey mom aren't you driving shouldn't you focus on the road it will come for you what will come for me lock the front and back door why so it can't get in the house uh, okay mm. lock yourself in the room is this really necessary is this is really hey you spell necessary wrong yes unless you want to be killed by it what now i'm afraid to ever lose my teeth now i'm never gonna eat candy ever again i'm still gonna eat it but what is it it clown demogorgon i gotta tell you right now i hear someone in the house mom sorry mom what are you doing should you be home at this point call 911 or something if you know it's dangerous you have to jump on the trampoline wait wait, wait let's go back wait what <laughs> If it comes, wait, 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 what? <laughs> if it comes upstairs, then jump out the window onto the trampoline. They have a trampoline. You're telling your, are you telling your daughter to jump out the window? Are you kidding me? Don't do that. No. Okay. Then just run as fast as you can. But where to? I don't care. As long as you're safe. Mom, it's upstairs. I hear footsteps right at my door. Jump! Oh, I did. I'm running. Is she texting and running at the same time? Girl, just call your mom. Or mom, just call your daughter. What are you guys doing? Like, I don't understand. Like, oh, do people really fall for this? Like, what? Or no, don't tell me. People really don't like texting. I mean, I don't like texting too. It is blind and it can smell and hear you. What kind? Is this a tooth fairy? What? This, what kind of tooth fairy is this? Mom, my teeth stopped falling. How many do you have left? Like five? <laughs> That's not possible. How? What do you mean? It's supposed to come out when all of your... It's supposed to come when all your teeth have fallen out. But you still have five. How is that possible? I don't know. You're the expert here, apparently. Mom, I'm scared. Mom, are you the monster? Like, how do you know so much? Mom, do you have all your teeth intact? Like, what's going on? Where is it now? Whoa, mom, I'm scared. What is that? What is what? It's this. What? <laughs> I can't. I can't with these messages. If it's suspicious, do not come close to it. It is chasing me. What is it? I'm just imagining the daughter running and typing at the same time like, looking back ah! it looks some sort of, oh my gosh it's the tooth fairy it looks like some kind of fairy but in a creepy way what it's a mutated fairy <laughs> with devil horns and a creepy smile Ding. it is chasing me run do not just text exactly now you say that how about we dial 911 i mean you can text them right honey i want you to know i always always love you this mom is like useless the best mom award 101 i love you so much mom where is it now i don't know i'm hiding in the woods no why would you hide in the woods i can't uh -huh. run now oh, mom it's here did, did you not just tell your daughter to hide behind a tree or something oh no run honey run uh -huh. honey kind of creepy please answer 
there. Oh, the creepy horn tooth fairy has gotten to hope. And now there is no hope. Anyways, let's see what the next scariest text message that to ever exist is. Okay, now the next video proves why you should always keep your phone with you and do not lose it no matter what. This is why I have this ring thingy on my phone. This is so that I will never drop it even if I'm holding my phone and swinging it around violently like this. Like this. This is not a promotion. This is really cheap. I'm just telling you guys it's good to get something like this so you never drop it or lose it. Let's look at the message about this kid losing his phone outside of school and what happens to it if you do lose your phone because it's really dangerous. He says, phone, where are you? Please text TXT like the K-pop band if you find my phone. And then someone replies, hello? <gasps> someone actually found his phone. OMG, you found my phone. You're awesome. Where was it? In the alley next to school. The screen looks cracked. Hmm. Yeah, it always has been. Can I come get it from you? Oh, someone found your phone. It's nice if they don't sell it or anything. I can't leave it in the school office. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a student who found a phone, I think. I have my dog. Dogs are allowed in school. You go to my school? I might be going there soon. Wait, you don't? What? How did he even go into the school? Did he drop it there? Or maybe orientation? Me, my brother, and my mom moved here next week. I don't know anyone here. It's hard to make friends, but I'm sure you will. Aw, maybe this person has a hard time making friends. You sound cool. My mom will kill me if I don't get my phone. Can you wait for me? Huh? What grade are you in? Okay, always double check. I'm in the sixth grade. I'm a few blocks away. Can you just wait a little? Okay. You can see my dog too. He's so cute. Okay, you're who you say you are, right? You're in the photo. Oh, wait, but there's a photo of two people. What do you mean? Like, you're not some creep or something, right? Even if he were some creep, he wouldn't have told you. No, lol. I promise that's me and my brother. Wait, what? That's your brother? He looks really old to be a brother. He kind of looks like your dad. I'm on the left. All right, I'm at the back gate. I'm already there. I mean, I'm nearly there. What's your name? Hannah. Oh, so it's a girl who got his phone. Okay, nice of Hannah. I'm Matthew. What are you doing? Waiting. <laughs> yeah, what else could she be doing? Lol. Um, okay. <laughs> kind of weird. Just on quid. Um, what's quid? Oh, yeah, exactly. What's that? Is it just me who don't know? Huh? You don't know quid? Is it like Snapchat or Discord back in the day? Mom doesn't let me get my phone much. Huh? So tell me about quid. Sorry, the mean girls just walked by. Oh my gosh, maybe she got bullied. Why do you mean? They just are. Are you close? Everyone's nearly out of school. <gasps> oh no, this girl's like gonna be alone. Yes, very close. You should get quid for your phone. It's an app? Yeah, you can trade stickers on it and stuff. Like Five Nights at Freddy and stuff. What's that? Really? You don't know? Wait, you don't know Five Nights at Freddy? Just kidding. Sounds cool. It is. Hey, where are you? I'm like the last one here. Oh no, she's alone. This is dangerous, guys. I have a bad feeling about this. They just locked the school gates and I don't like being alone. Can you please hurry? I'm just down the street. I can't see you though and no one's around. You can't see anyone? Why did he say that? That's so creepy. No, I'm the only one here now. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. You see the, the van? Not the van. Oh my gosh, not the van. Is it a black van? A white van? Oh my gosh. If it's one of those vans with words on it that says free candy, free Robux, free Wi-Fi, stay far away, run the other direction immediately. Speed run the other way. Can't you see the van in the alley? In the alley some more? Oh my gosh. I'm there. Come over. Huh? I'm right there. Don't go to no alley, especially if there's nobody around. It's okay. I'm on the other side of the van. Oh my gosh. My dog just got off leash. Can you help me find him? Oh my gosh. I think there's someone sitting in the van. Oh, I'm totally creeped out. Now, don't worry, I'm here. Um, walk towards the van. Um, huh? Can you see me now? Oh my gosh, I see a man in there waving your phone. That's me. <gasps> You're a man. <gasps> What about that picture in the photo? I knew he was the guy on the right. You said the photo was you? It is. That's me from 30 years ago. Lol. Wait, 30 years ago, did they have colored pictures? You look like you want to run, but the gate is locked and my bro was in the alley. Stop crying. Are they still texting in front of each other? That's kind of weird. I don't like people crying. No, that's my brother. I promise we'll be really nice to you. <gasps> smiley face. I've always been so creeped out by that smiley face, guys. It's so weird. This was really adults using a beige phone. Oh my. Gosh, this is why, guys, you have to be careful. No matter where you are, don't lose your phone. If you lose your phone, go find a teacher or an adult to report it to. Do not take care of it yourself. You don't know what type of creepy people out there selling fake Robux or giving free candy and Wi-Fi are going to be like. Anyways, let's go to the next video. Next, we're going to read about a scary intruder. <laughs> okay, this is not supposed to be something to laugh at. But always lock your doors at night, close your windows, and do not leave anything open because someone might be watching from 
outside. Okay. Let's watch it. Oh, Roberto. 911, where are you? Wait a second. What? 911? Is he texting 911 or is this a friend? At work? What's up? Okay, maybe it's just a friend. Did you leave your front door open? No. Front door is open. Oh my gosh. No. Are you at my place? Are they friends? Like, give us some context, man. Yeah. I think someone is in there. Oh, maybe he came home and the front door was open. Be careful. No one should be in there. Stand by. Someone is definitely inside. Whoa. Thing's a woman. She's hot. What? She's in your bedroom. Call 911 anyway. Going through your drawers. Insanely hot. So smacks. What? Call 911. Soon? Huh? After I have some fun. Oh my gosh. What is up with this guy? He's gonna regret it. It's gonna be like some monster. What are you gonna do? Scare the bleep out of her. What? Teach her she picked the wrong house to burglar burgle burglar what are you gonna do is that on a window lol no i went to into the house i closed the door and i locked it oh my gosh don't underestimate these creepy people they could be a psychopath or a sociopath she'll think twice before she enters next time or break in next time be careful it's okay she's tiny is it okay if i break one of your old glasses i throw it on the floor near the front door have it break into thousands of pieces while wow, this guy really have it all planned out and everything already Freak her out. Oh, sure. Did it. That was priceless. She saw it and started freaking out. I think she locked herself in your room. Weird. She was in pajamas. Wait, what? P pajamas? I think she was planning on doing a Goldilocks thing. Wait, what? Goldilocks and the uh, three bears? Wait, what? Is this like a childhood reference? Pajamas. I know, right? I should go pound on the door soon. How bad would that scare her? Lol. Oh my gosh. This guy is like way too confident. Like if I were this guy, I would just call the police because you don't know what type of crazy people are out there, right? Do it! By the way, why did you get rid of my favorite sofa? Your new one sucks. Oh, Jonathan, get out of here. <gasps> Car and driveway. Is that you? Uh-oh, no. Get out of here. Hmm? Is this a leer? Some sort of like leer? You dumb dumb. You forgot I moved two weeks ago, didn't you? Oh my gosh. He went to the wrong house. Man outside, that's all over his face. He's upset. Oh gosh, what do I do? He has a gun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this guy. He did it to himself. He's kicking the door down. He think you broke into his house? Duh, Roberto or whoever this guy is. Oh my gosh, is that blood? I'm calling over the house now to let them know it's a mistake, but there's blood. I'm getting the creeps. Oh, all right. The next one is about creepy sleepovers. This is why you have to be careful even on, even going to a sleepover to someone else's house that you don't really know. Hi, Nilia. Hey, you want to come over for a sleepover? Sure. When? I come today. So maybe it should be tomorrow. I come today. So can it be on a Sunday? Yeah. Okay, great. Harper. Oh, this morning I woke up scratching my back. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Is this after the sleepover? Yeah. Do you know what? That could be... Okay, they make a lot of typos. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. It's so weird though. I know. Okay, I need to go now. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow morning. Hashtags. <laughs> or those those asterisks. Harper? Hi, what's up? Remember I told you about the scratch marks I had on my back? Yeah, what about it? I woke up again with scratch marks. I woke up today with scratch marks again. That is so weird. You think? Maybe the cover scratched your bag at night. Mm -hmm. What type of rough covers? Are you using like sandpaper? Okay, but how would that work? I don't know. Maybe your cat scratched you at night. <laughs> Maybe. Like if you, you guys have a cat, your cat does pounce on you at night when you're sleeping, right? Harper, I don't have a cat. You know that. Oh, lo, lo, yeah. Anyways, I can't wait for the sleepover in two days. Okay, so it's not a sleepover yet. Yeah, me neither. Is it me too? Anyways, I have to go now. Scoot Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about school today. Bye. See ya. Tomorrow morning. Hi, Malia. Hey, what's up? Scratch marks. What? I have scratch marks on my back again. They are more than last time. Oh my gosh. Is she turning into like Aaron Yeager or something? I'm scared, Harper. Whoa, wait. Are your parents home? <gasps> Maybe she's she's turning into one of the big titans from AOT. No, they went on the honeymoon four days ago. When are they coming back? In a week? So you're home alone? Yeah, for two weeks. Do <gasps> you have a babysitter or something? That's so dangerous. Or maybe like a grandpa to watch over you. Did you tell them about the scratch marks? No, the scratch marks didn't appear until they were gone. Are you going to tell them now? Before that, I didn't think it was a big deal until today. Tell them. I tried. They didn't respond. The message didn't even go through. I don't think I have internet. Then how are you texting Harper? Hmm. We'll see tomorrow. Maybe it'll get better or worse. Oh my gosh. I actually hear something scratching coming under my bed last night. It was not 3 a.m. And I was too scared to look under my bed. Oh, that's scary. What if there's a creature under your bed and it's making 
thinking you have scratch marks. Oh my gosh. That must be it. That must be the answer. I don't know anymore. I have to go now. Remember, we have a sleepover tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Tomorrow morning. Hey, Amelia. Hi! My mom will pick you up at 2 p.m. for the sleepover. Harper, I don't think I'll be able to go to the sleepover. Oh no, why? I feel sick and the scratch marks. Oh no. She should go to the hospital. This is why she needs an adult at home if something bad happens. What about the scratch marks? They're all over my body now. OMG, Amelia, go to the house and check on your friend, man! You're right. Oh my gosh. You're right about the creature under my bed. Oh, you're kidding, right? I don't know. See for yourself. Look under your bed tonight. Oh my god. It's coming for you now. Guys. Oh my god, I'm getting chills. Don't look under your bed tonight. If you don't want to get scared or anything like that. Don't look under your bed. <laughs>